Near the end of the election season in 2016, I saw interviews with members of Black Lives Matter movement, frustrated and disenfranchised with voting. They didn't believe the federal government was doing as much as it should, while many were Bernie supporters who were ticked that he didn't win. Well, I hate to tell you this, but Bernie would have been able to do only the exactly the amount that the Obama and the potential Clinton administration could do. That is because of something known as states' rights. States' rights is often used as an abused argument by the right to maintain problems and systemic racism, but states' rights are clearly stated in the Constitution. States and local governments hire, fire, and regulate their police force, as well as prosecutors and paying for their public defenders. The federal government can only step in in the worst cases, but even then they can't do much to fight systemic racism when the racist state or local government is fighting tooth and nail. If you only vote in presidential elections and expect things to change, then black lives really don't matter that much to you, or you're grossly misinformed on who is responsible for defending and maintaining police violence and discrimination. In this particular case, ignore the federal level election. You can deal with this on a state and local level. Visit city council meetings and neighborhood organizing meetings. Find your local politician's views on police brutality and de-escalation. If nothing else, during the process, you will learn the mindset of those trying to nudge the gears and levers of local power to change things for better activism. Actively work to get the vote out in midterm elections. If blacks and their allies become reliable voters in midterm elections, then, in many areas, police brutality will drop because the local politicians would know that they have to keep them happy to stay in power, instead of only scared white people who are reliable voters in midterms. So their concerns are only what they focus on. If you have a state or local election this year, get involved and try and get as many people you can out, no matter how small or boring that election may seem. The lives and livelihoods of African Americans are on the line here. Do it. Hello. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, rate, and subscribe, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Also feel free to check out my blog. Thank you.